Hello and welcome back to another uh, video. This time we are trying something a little bit new. Uh, this is a game that I found, uh, I think it came out came out like yesterday or maybe the day before. Anyway, it's called The Walking Dead Our World. Uh, basically what it is is if you've played Pokemon Go or have heard of Pokemon Go, it's somewhat like that. It's like an AR experience game. Um, although you don't have to do AR, but it's based on uh, Google Maps and it runs off of that engine. Now to tell you a little bit about the game, it's based on obviously The Walking Dead, and since it's sort of like Pokemon Go, let's click uh, the shop real quick. Uh, as you know, you can buy stuff like in-game items um, to help you along your way. Uh, that's nothing new. That's with most games that are out there anyways. The main focus of this game is to get cards, uh, whether they're heroes, whether they're weapons, or whether they're perks. Um, so first up is perks. Perks help your overall gameplay, whether it be energy, um, coins, or uh, gold. Um, each card does a different thing, as you can see. This one increases uh, first aid kits, um, grenades, damage, just little things that help you overall. Um, next is weapons. These are what you use to obviously shoot um, the zombies and defeat uh, hordes and stuff like that. Heroes are basically like another you. Um, they attack the zombies and help you along the way. Um, you can power them up, uh, as you can see here. This one costs 400. Um, it depends whether they're epic or common or, you know, what uh, tier, basically, they are. Um, this one costs 160. So, one of our addition to the guilds is that you can actually have a leader and co-leader and stuff like that. Um, the, the first rank is officer, and then after officer is, um, let's see here, it's elder. So it goes officer, elder, co-leader, and then the leader. Um, so let's go ahead and demote Tim back. Um, one cool thing is that it will actually not tell you who promoted or who demoted. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah, that's just something I thought I would share with you guys. And this is what the in-game footage actually looks like. You can, uh, these are known as encounters, uh, these little, like, death icons, and then this is an infestation. The difference between an encounter and an infestation is pretty huge. Um, there's also rescue missions. Rescue missions um, allow you to uh, help out people, and then you can put them in uh, shelters. I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, so this is what it looks like when you get into the actual, like, fight. Um, there is an AR mode in the top left, which that's kind of okay. It's hard to use, so uh, I, I try not to use it. Um, but yes, here's what you got to do. You basically just protect that person in the back. Um, and then once you complete this and the, uh, res or the survivor is rescued, then you can put them in shelters. Um, I can hold up to six survivors at one time. And then you got to find a shelter to put them in. So I'm going to drop off one. Um, and then if you get so many, you can level up your shelter. Every time you level up your shelter, you can keep it for 10 more days. If you don't level it up before the 10 days, then it disappears and you have to restart a shelter. So I got six of those. Cool. Um, so once it upgrades, now I have to have 40... Uh, I have to find 40... I have to rescue 40 people, and then I can upgrade again. So now on to the infestation. An infestation has three stages usually, and you have to complete each. You have to fight in it three times in order to complete the infestation. The uh, the more, if you complete the infestation completely, you get a better reward than if you were just to complete two uh, missions of the three. So we're going to go ahead and do the three uh, fights, and each time it takes three energy. And usually you can hold up to, I think, 30 energy. So we're going to go ahead and pull out a strong headshot. Um, yeah, this is the person that's helping me out. Uh, I'll let her kill the last one. There we go. So it's a pretty cool game. Um, it keeps track of all your shots, how many walkers you killed, all that sort of like statistics and stuff. 25 coins. Nice. I need coins to level up cards and stuff like that. So we completed stage one. We're going to go ahead and go into stage two. Um, you can also toss grenades. I hope I got that right. Oh, okay. I only got one. So I'm going to try to toss it over there. Oh, that one missed. So we're going to throw this a little bit closer. There we go. 
And then let her kill the last one. Nice. So her needs to heal an eight seconds. Okay. And if your yeah, if your uh, teammate per se gets hurt, yeah, it takes like time to revive them. So I got another twenty-five points. So now we're gonna complete the last stage of this infestation. Okay, this one looks a little bit harder. We're gonna try to toss that nade way back there. Ooh, we got a good one. Okay, headshot, headshot, headshot. Ooh, the further back they are, the less damage it does. Which makes sense. Not that one, good. okay, cool. And yeah, you never run out of bullets. You always have infinite bullets, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, the first two stages I got 25 points. In the last stage, we get five cards. Or, in the last stage, we get five cards. So this is the last stage, and this is what we got. And now I can upgrade the Dale's RV. Nice. Okay. So that's what an infestation is, and you can only get one every eight hours in that spot. Um, of course, you can move around like in Pokemon Go. Like I can travel out to this loot crate over here if I wanted to. I just have to walk there. Um, but yeah. So basically that's all the in-game functionalities and that's what it's like to play this game. Uh, one last thing is here is your profile. Um, you can edit settings here. Um, you can actually edit your character and you can lock, unlock more as you go and apply different colors. Um, and then all your stats are down here. But yeah, if I were to compare this game to Pokemon Go, it's okay. Um, Pokemon Go doesn't put like offers in front of your face like this one does, but it's not a bad game. The only uh, downside to this game is the energy. Um, as you can see, I have 25 out of 32, and you only get one energy every five minutes, meaning you run out of energy rather quick if you're an avid player. If you just sit at home, you're probably not gonna run out of energy. But yeah, this is what The Walking Dead Outworld is. Uh, if you want to download it, it's free. Um, obviously, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, check it out. It's a fun game, and I'll see you.